from uh, Team Connecticut. As I said, uh, Kerberos on the Toon Link and gonna have Venus yeah. Goldfish on the Dark Pit. I like some coordinated outfits, makes it easier to cast. Yep, for sure. Got yeah. the, the red dresses on the princesses mm -hmm. here. And, uh, yeah. and that's, that's the closest to a blue skin the Dark Pit has. We'll give it to yeah. him. But right off the bat, uh, actually gonna get reversal here yeah. uh, is Jess, gonna end up on the ledge, but Ooh. Oh, actually ends up down tilting Sefi as well. That's not a good look. Does look all right. Nice punish here on the uh, two link. On two link up B, not bad. Oh, oh so amazing much pressure! Yeah, great pressure here uh, coming in from Team Connecticut onto Jess's block. Yeah. Doesn't manage oh. to get it broken, and actually, Seth is going to lose a stock here. Mm -hmm. uh, first stock of the game. Just yeah. Yeah. Great team, kind of getting. This yeah, Team, team Boston team is not doing great here. Yeah. I mean, we saw even uh, we even saw Bitless Goldfish actually hit Kev Arrows in a combo, and you know, they were fine with that uh, because you know they're up a stock. So if Kev takes yeah. a little bit of damage, you put some on Sefi, like you still won. Mm -hmm. But that's going to be the first stock off of Jess as well. Red team now down two stocks. Definitely got to make something happen with one of these Peach combos, or you know maybe pull out the Phantom, do a little bit yeah. of zoning. Or you know, do something like that, you know, go in. Uh, that's a very mm -hmm. common punish that a lot of Zeldas uh, will use. Is, you know, they see somebody throw a projectile, and if they have a hard read on when it's going to happen, just uh, go in with that up B, exactly. knock them out. Uh, a lot of the time they won't be DI'ing correctly, like Kev wasn't right there. But blue team coming in. Yeah, for sure. And Kev kind of has to back off here, not really able to fight both of them off at once. Yeah. But. Gonna end up being backed up by Goldfish now. Oh, a lot of pressure God. on that shield. Yeah, that was either gonna block or um. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. That was tough. And That's that might be a Kev death. No, he's gonna be able to drift back. Yeah, and back. One thing I think I, 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 I've been really interested is uh, Goldfish has been doing these throws and then kind of throwing them to Kev and then just like putting their opponent at disadvantage. Yeah, um, for sure. I feel like in this team, Dark Pit is definitely the one you want to have on like, you know, kind of dedicated grappler duty, right? Yeah. His grab's a lot better. He's got a lot better uh, mobility. Uh, and he's able to condition blocks a lot more easily. Plus, like, oh, we have a Phantom coming out. Yeah. I think Pit is just so volatile against Zelda, <laughs> too. I can definitely see that, yeah. You definitely want to watch your shield if you're Kev mm. here. Just stall off stage a little bit, let, uh, let it come back, yeah. but still not totally safe. So catches the jump here, tries to go for uh, the whole stock. Not going to be able to make it. Goldfish does try to save him, but uh, yeah. Sefi's going to come in and say not today. Good get up attack. I think that was a valid risk to take, you know. Mm -hmm. you're, you're up. It's fair. You're up two stocks. You got some, you got some stocks to burn. Got some stocks to burn. And worst case, you know, Goldfish is still at two, so he can definitely give you one if you uh, need it. Beautiful target switch here from, uh, from Goldfish as well. Throwing Jess off the stage, letting Kev have the ledge trap, and then just going after Sefi. That up be out of shield. That's, yeah, it's like so it's tall. tough, right? Also, yeah. because it locks them in place during the multi hit. So your uh, teammate doesn't have to react to anything. They can just say, oh, yeah. okay, he's up being right now. I can go over and hit someone. You have all the time in the world to get across the stage and try to get another punish off of it. Oh, misread oh. The, uh, the option there. Expected like an air dodge or a roll, but. Okay, wait, 2v1. Oh, wow. Oh, and just like and that, it's turned go. around. So much is going on. Mm. Oh, not up really We just good. saw five stocks taken yeah. in 20 seconds. <laughs> wow. Yeah, There's so, so much happening. Yeah, no, both uh, teams ended up losing the stock, and then uh, we saw yeah. well, we saw Jess get a uh, pretty lit edge guard there, come back. Uh, yeah. Sefi died. Sefi uh, died. They yeah, all well, died. Yeah, Sefi died while uh, Jess was coming back, and then Jess immediately uh, got her full hop caught out by that up air. Yeah. So... A lot happened right there, but yeah. I definitely think that uh, Team Boston showed that they could make it happen mm -hmm. uh, for sure at the at the end there. Just coins didn't end up, uh, or chips didn't end up falling where yeah. they uh, where they wanted them to. Yeah, I feel like the yeah business goldfish just utilizing the fact that Pit has a good like a good projectile, good like counter, like good like aerials, tilts. Not like the best of the game of like each item, but like has all those uh, tools at disposal. Yeah, he's got everything he might need. Might yeah. not be perfect, but he's mm -hmm. got a lot of tools for sure. Yeah. 
Um, I think like potential punish options. I know that Sethi's have been only recovering the four, like the 45 degree yeah. like diagonal, and I know Pit's really good at edge guarding that, so I could see yeah. that being a potential option. Um, that, yeah, Pit's just dominating a lot of the stage. Yeah, Pit's uh, yeah definitely. Pit is zooming around. You see him zooming around with a lot of those grabs, short hop and airs. Uh -oh. uh, you know, if he's not, he's shooting an arrow. Uh, and then, you know, when one yeah. of these guys is off stage, it's just so difficult yeah. for them to come back. And then Kev uh, underscore A R O S. Uh, <laughs> uh, just those up. He's out of shield. They just take up so much. And it's like, when no. do you let go? Yeah, exactly. Like, And the thing is, you can do it in pressure. Uh, a lot mm -hmm. of the time, you can hit someone's shield with it. And if your partner sees that, they can actually, like, hit you out of the end lag a lot of the time. Yeah. And then, even if not, it might poke. If it pokes, you know, your partner can, again, just see that they're getting hit, uh -huh. come over, get another punish. But regardless, going to end up going right back to uh, PS2 here yeah. uh, on the second game. No counter picks uh, on characters or stages. So looks like we got Sefi taking the lead here with the Phantom. So a little bit different of an approach here. Going to try to... Um, yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely looks like... Zoning we, a bit more. Yeah, we want... It looks like we want Jess to kind of sit back with the turnips and we want... Uh, Seppi to kind of hold down the front line with the Phantom. That said, yeah. you know, if your front line gets opened up like it has right now, that's not good. That was a charge forward smash. Yeah, that was tough. Oh, okay, oh, that broke. actually breaks the Orbitars, but okay. not quite going to kill Toon Link. Oh, tries to get the uh, Lightning Kick. Just barely not enough knockback there. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely see uh, kind of an inversion of what we were talking about at the beginning, right? Is uh, we see Sephi relying a lot more on these projectiles now, trying yeah. not to put herself in harm's yeah, way. Yeah, great lightning yep. kick. Yep, good uh, whip punish there on the lightning oh, kick for sure. That, uh, okay. That's unfortunate, but die. she's fine. Yep. A great get up, get up attacks there, and the boomerang actually keeps Goldfish from getting a punish on it. I like her covering her recoveries here with yeah. these fires as well. What a double teaming. Ouch. <laughs> there we go. A lot of action going on on the right side of the stage uh, while we were talking about Sephi yeah. there. That would be not quite no. going to kill Immaculate DI by Sephi. Great up air. Yep. Great timing. There's Absolutely. A, a lot of... Uh, Down I, I, I'm very impressed with, like, Sephi's just, like, reacting to, like, different patterns or options. I think it's really... Oh, 100%, yeah. Sefi in particular has uh, leveled up massively this game. She's doing so much better. Yeah. Just now dying as Zelda, fairly light character at 178 after the hit. Um, you know, definitely stepping into her role as a stock tank here, which I think Zelda yeah. can do decently well. She's hard to hit. Yeah, Yeah, and we got that Dinspire helping out with mm -hmm. the ledge trap as well, even though she can't phantom because she's behind, uh, behind Jess. Yeah. Yeah, good stuff there. Absolutely. That said, Jess getting slapped up a little bit here on the right side. Ooh. Yeah, wins the scramble situation. Still gonna take a lot of damage. Yeah. Oh, double parry. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, we are going to end up taking out the Jess stock, but also taking out Goldfish stock here. <coughs> One stock on all but Sefi, and if the last stock is anything to go by, she's got a while left to live. Cover here as she makes it. Oh, oh, questionable great. DI on that dash attack. Yeah. yeah, good punish here coming in from Goldfish. Last stock all. And Pit, like, to your point earlier, Pit is just so good at, um, you know, a lot of the time you can't do pre-planned combos and things and doubles mm -hmm. because... You know, the other person will just come in and interrupt you. But yeah. Pit doesn't really need to do that necessarily because he can just see that something's going on on the other side of the stage and just dash attack in. Easy, uh, quick with punish. Not really committal. Doesn't have to, yeah. you know, put too much thought into it. Uh, you but see yeah, this is a very close game. Yeah, for sure. We oh. do see the Jess stock go down first, so... Sefi definitely not going to uh, be rewarded too hard for stock tanking here. Got to uh, come back versus both of these sorties. Gonna be a little bit difficult for her. The fourth throw? Oh, the back throw. No, the back throw. Try to go with back throw up air like they got a little bit ago. I like oh, that grab release. I do get it. Yeah. Because <clears throat> a throw would have end lag that uh, Goldfish could punish. So not gonna get the sweet spot Four there. Throw. Whoa! Amazing oh. F to a good whiff punish on the forward air. Oh, the, oh. oh so barely gonna close. live. Questionable DI, but she's okay. 
Oh. And she holds and down. She, she holds down, saves that option. Saves and that option also the entire perfect spacing. game until perfect it's going to kill. Yep. For a second there on the zoom in, I thought she got uh, two frames. Yeah, I thought so too. But no, and we're going to see that again. Barely lives this uh, forward throw. And then she comes up. Comes up. Fades down a little bit. Up B. Holds down right before she grabs the ledge. Get out of here. <laughs> Sophie. And we are not biased, but we do love Sophie. Or, uh, Sophie, rather. <laughs> so Sophie. That's not even her I real mean, name. Sophie is a pretty cool electronic. No, I literally musician. just read that and I was like, wow, that looks like it says Sophie. No, I, like, I wrote spacing. Oh. Yeah. I thought you read, wrote Sephi. No, I wrote spacing. Okay, so either I can't read or you can't write. Uh, Probably I think it's both. both. Yeah. yeah. I was like, what? Yeah. But it looks like we're discussing bands here. We got Kalos uh, being banned here by Team Boston. Okay. Looks like they're thinking about their other band. Other band's gonna be Town. I can see I that. I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. Those edge guards, they were like dying narrow, off the side. Yeah. They were both dying off the side really early. And worst case scenario, I feel like a lot of the tricks that both of these princesses have up their sleeves involve killing off the top, mm -hmm. which is gonna happen a lot later on yeah. Town of City. Like we saw right there, we also have uh, you know the parasol out of Peach, things like that. Sure. Both not gonna kill as early on something like Town and City, highest uh, legal ceiling that we got. Yeah. Right. Well, we could just go back to good old humble PS2. Yeah, good old, good old. Uh, Yeah. But I'm going to go back to uh, PlayStation 2 here. You know how it is. Oh, oh damn. Oh, I actually like that uh, electric strike. I don't even think that was a target yeah. switch. Oh, the bomb. <laughs> bomb. Yeah, definitely liking this uh, new zoning we're seeing out of Sephi. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that team. Yeah. But... Uh, Nice zoning for sure, because anytime that uh, now we see one of these guys trying to pull out, one of these swordsmen trying to pull out a projectile, we just see a Din's fire coming across the screen to punch him. Big yeah. fan of that. Or, or a uh, teleport. A little bit slow on that one, but yeah. good idea nonetheless. Yeah, Bomb actually going to save Sephi uh, from that back there yeah. right there, it looks like. Lightning kick? Lightning kick, not quite going to take it, but... Big thing about uh, doubles isn't necessarily even that you necessarily want to get the edge guard. It's that if you send someone off stage, they're out of the picture in neutral for a little bit. Um, so you get to have a little 2v1 for a few seconds, uh, even if not any longer oh, than that. Great. Yeah, and, and I feel like Kev definitely had to know, like, he was giving up his stock for that up B, but yeah. going to get a good amount of damage off of it. And they were up at the point, so fair enough. Up. And this could be an up throw. Yep. Yeah, grab arm, we're going to keep her from getting interrupted. Take that uh, that first goldfish stock. Yeah, that's a, was a 45 degree uh, recovery angle you see. Definitely would like to see Team Connecticut take a little bit of advantage of that. Teleport recoveries are really easy to do for him. Yeah. If you have one doing the same kind of recovery timing, you know, similarly each time, definitely want to watch out there. That was a genius up there, yeah, actually. Yeah, it was. Um, because that definitely would have gotten close to killing that up B would have off the side, but that up air wasn't going to kill yeah. from below stage off the top. And uh, you know, also end up getting a little oh, bit of damage. Oh, reads the roll with like that well. down smash. Yep, for sure. Takes down to even stocks here, two stocks all. And up B does kill. Another up B. Yeah, I think that was like I think that almost was a, lead uh, slightly missed ledge cancel. Oh, okay. yeah. We do see the uh, neutral B coming out. From Sephi as well. Trying to break out of some of these uh, team combos. Yeah. And like uh, the aerial drift with the neutral B makes it kind of unpredictable, like one lick of the shield. Yeah, it's hard to punish, right? Because, uh, you know, Zelda's got pretty good air acceleration. Not great air speed, but pretty good air acceleration. So you can change yeah. direction pretty easily. So we do see the, uh, you know, the Nuggets uh, up smash here <laughs> coming in from Jess. <laughs> Might see some Nuggets later on, but not yeah. on the screen right now. Red team up a stock. Yeah, for sure. A lot oh. of shield pressure here coming on to Sefi. Not going to be able to take all of it. Has to drop that joint. Going to have to fight her way past Dark Pit if she wants to help uh, oh, Jess, lightning though. Kick, Unfortunate own. lightning kick onto your teammate. Uh, 
just pulled that turn and was like, yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna let you cook. You, you got it, Queen. Um, oh, tries to go for the forward air. A little bit off on the timing. Oh, doesn't get but the toad. Kev's gonna be able to make it back with the bomb. Cook that up uh, beforehand. Good awareness here, knowing that he might need that uh, for his recovery. There's the back air. No, that's strong, but it's no lightning kick. Zephy barely avoiding death four times in a row here. Yeah. Oh, there's the... Uh... Oh! Oh, no! Bro. That's the worst way that could have gone, but ends up working out as, you know, they do both lose a stock, but Team Boston was up. And that fork? Not quite going to kill, kill, yeah. That's pretty weak if you D.I.N. Good setup here from uh, Boston, for sure. Team Boston, I say, as just yeah. literally from New Yeah, Hampshire. with the 603. Literally from okay. a different state. But she does come to our stuff fairly often. Yeah, that's true. For any clarity. Oh. As we do see, yeah, turn of combo into the neutral air. Nice. Great adaptions. And Team um, Out of State is going to take it here. Yeah. Good stuff, for sure. Good stuff. Amazing stuff. Let's see who, they, uh, who they're going to fight next up in the bracket. Looks like they are going to end up going on to fight Beast and Sauce. That's going to be an interesting match to yeah. see. Yeah. Um, Definitely, like, more, I guess, like, brawling, like, archetype yeah, idea. Yeah, for sure. More scrap. But uh, next up, it looks like we're going to end up having uh, Leto and Ro uh, versus Apple Reviewer, who recently came back from a trip to Australia, uh, okay. and Antimony. Yeah. Uh, so. Apple Reviewer, Antimony, definitely yeah. just... Uh, Wrecking up Central Mass. For sure. Yep. Definitely some Central Mass guys as well. And uh, Alito Row. i not uh, not actually familiar with them. I imagine they're Connecticut. I'll imagine they're local. Um, yeah, I think I, I've seen the name Lito, but I don't, I don't know what they're about. Gotcha. <clears throat> but yeah, that is uh, the other side of uh, you know this quarter that we were in. So winner of this is going to fight the winner of Jess Sefi and Beast Sauce. But right now, we gotta get through. got to get through this set first. Definitely, uh, definitely got a lot of good sets uh, so far, I would say. Yeah, I'd say so. For sure, for sure. Yeah, no real up, uh, upsets, I'd say, so far. Pretty, uh, pretty much what you would expect the bracket to be. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Yeah, like you said, I'm definitely looking forward. I hope we get to uh, see a Don Light set. I I at really some point. Think I that'd expect be super it to be well, fun. you know. But uh, I think that would be pretty cool, for sure, for sure. Like you said, you know, like Connecticut hometown classic. Um, 